Before their momentous arrival in Cape Town, Hokula'a and her crew made an important stop in False Bay near Simons Town, South Africa. We made a decision to go to False Bay because of the extraordinary work of many people are there that are in this area doing exceptional things to protect the world's oceans. And we aloha our great friend and mentor and, and teacher and inspiration, Dr. Sylvia Earle, who's created this as one of the world's great ocean hope spots. In 2014, False Bay was one of six areas in South Africa designated a Mission Blue Hope Spot, a special place critical to the health of the ocean. Mission Blue is an initiative of the Sylvia Earle Alliance that works to ignite public support for the protection of our oceans by creating a global network of marine protected areas. It's just incredibly productive here because it's getting fed by this incredible amount of upwelling. It's just off the charts. Craig Foster is an internationally recognized award-winning documentary filmmaker whose films reflect a deep passion and commitment to the natural world. He's been exploring False Bay nearly every day for years, building an intimate relationship with the place and its inhabitants in one of the most ecologically rich coastlines in the world. So this is one of the air-breathing fish. As long as he gets to the keeps a little damp, he can last for five hours out the water. Really? Uh, Air-breathing fish, pretty cool, yeah. So this is a giant limpet, not a particularly big one, but uh, yeah. they get huge like this. It's rock penetrating lichen. So this lichen is penetrating two miles into the earth what? and pulling up. It's hunting for different minerals and pulling them to the surface. That's why it's got this strong color and it will feed the rest of the environment. Yeah, big snacks. Uh, cobras, uh, mole snakes. And this fishing line kills unbelievable numbers of things. That guy's a master of camouflage, he doesn't get past Archie. <laughs> After a tour of the coastline, it was time to get in the water. So what's going to happen now, we're going to go in this water, it's probably about maybe 60 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going to happen is, as you get in, it's going to be, your body is going to be a little bit shocked. All you have to do is get past the first three minutes or two minutes and you'll be amazed how you start to thermoregulate. Obviously I've done this every day almost for five years. So my window is very long, over an hour. Okay, so your window is going to be shorter and just enjoy that window. As soon as you then start to feel like signs of cold or shivering, that's the time to, to get up. It is hard in the water, so I commend you guys for trying this. Thank you. you know? <laughs> Especially from Hawaii. <laughs> There's a 30% chance we will see a fairly large shark. Okay? Um, they are totally harmless. Okay. Craig led the crew through the breathtaking kelp forest, braving bone-chilling waters without wetsuits. An exercise, Craig believes, helps divers get into the mindset of our earliest ancestors. These early people living on this coast, swimming, diving, wading, out the whole day in the really cold conditions, especially in winter, would have been fully cold adapted. So when you cold adapt, your hormonal system, your vascular system, your entire immune system is massively boosted. I mean, the difference you feel is night and day. It's huge. It was an honor and privilege to be with him. I blink into his work. We were taking on a tour of an amazing ecological system, some of the richest, nutrient-rich oceans in the world. We were here to do what we were supposed to do on the canoe, and that's to capture stories. Not just hope, but people taking extraordinary action. You protect the oceans, in doing so, you protect the Earth. To share how you malamo honua and to follow the voyage, log on to hokulea.com. This is Kapoor Roback for OEV TV, home of the worldwide voyage. Aloha.